Hey guys, it's Jonas. Uh, I just recently bought this Sony Alpha lens, A mount lens. Uh, it's a DT 35mm f1.8. And uh, let's get to it. So, the first things you actually see on the box, if you take it on the side where the tape is on, it mentions a couple of key points. Uh, first thing first is the circular aperture, which helps it create this super soft focus outside a focus area and I quite like that one. I'll show you a couple of pictures later on so you can see how how nice and soft that uh, background will be. A second thing it does come with the lens hood which is good uh, when you're running gun shooting like myself uh, it keeps the lens protected real nice plus it offers a little bit of the protection to direct light uh, third point is that the SAM, which is also in the product marking F1.8 SAM, it's a soft autofocus motor, and when you do have it on the autofocus, it is quite fast. Uh, a lot of people said this about the E series, you know, the new Sony's, that it's super fast focusing system, and it does do it here as well. What else is on the box? On the side there's barcodes, uh, nothing really else and then you have the product markings and here's a little indication that you, you see these curved elements here and that's the curved aperture and here's the same markings that in the front but let's jump to it. I opened the seal earlier so this unboxing becomes a bit easier. So here let's remove these standard manuals and a warranty card. I don't think we need to go through those, that's a bit boring. But here is the whole set. First thing you can see is the lens hood and this is wrapped in bubble wrap as well. The bubble wrap stay in the box when you pull it out. But it's a solid, it's not a what you would call the curved model it's a solid one it's quite nice feels sturdy hard plastic and you got some markings here sony but that's enough for that here's the lens itself comes in a bubble wrap pocket and uh first notation it's quite heavy it's quite heavy feels good feels good although uh, it feels a little bit plasticky, uh, but uh, this is the cheaper model from the 35. You have the prime lens, which is a bit more expensive, and uh, whatever purpose I have, this is suitable, more than suitable. So I went with this cheaper one. Uh, here's the product markings again, and. Uh, Let's take it a. Let's take a look at the AF uh, autofocus, manual focus. The switch is here. The autofocus is quiet. It's fast. But when you do go into manual focus, uh, a lot of people, which are not familiar with Sony, don't really know where the focus ring is, and it's right here. And only thing for me, it's quite thin, so it's hard to get a creep on especially when you have the lens hood on. A uh, second thing is it is quite almost slippery there's not a lot of friction so you might want to be careful when you shoot video that you don't you don't accidentally touch it because it, it might go quite easily off focus. Otherwise the lens feels solid I have nothing bad to say and uh, I'm looking forward to testing it. Here's a little quick view on the back side. As, as you can see, it's, it is a plastic construction around, around, but I've had these for years. I have never broken one, so I can't say that they don't take a beating. Um, here's a front of the lens. Looks pretty good. And here it is with the 
with the lens cover on. So it's a, it's a good size and it gives a good protection. It's quite deep so it's hard to get hit. The lens is hard to get hit if it would. I always keep this on for extra protection. But that's about it. I'll show you a couple of pictures and uh, we'll see you in the next review. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.